just like Superman and Wonder Woman and or Batman. Written by Mousapelli. Read by Michelle of UA's Art. The only evidence he's not going insane is that Craig is sitting beside him in the bed, clutching his hand so tightly that it hurts. You see them? Tweak demands. This has to be a dream. It has to. But when he pinches his own thigh hard, it hurts. Ack! You really do? Craig swallows and nods, eyes wide. The underpants gnomes were ignoring them, going about their business and singing their little song. Craig turns to Tweak, brows furrowed, clearly waiting for an explanation. Tweak opens his mouth to try to explain, but only a little hiccuped sob of relief comes out instead. Sorry! Tweak groans, using his free hand to scrub his face. It's just, nobody ever sees them! Nobody ever! Craig looks exhausted and bewildered. Little wonder since it's 3 a.m. Bedhead wild without his hat. But his face is serious as he looks Tweak over. He always takes what Tweak says seriously, which Tweak both loves and hates. On the one hand, it's such a relief to be listened to. But on the other hand, his attention makes Tweak feel like he's melting into a puddle of emotional goo. Focus, honey. Craig is still staring at him, waiting. Tweak twitches, chewing on his lower lip. I mean, what are the underpants for? Profit, Tweak says dully. Craig furs his brows together harder. Look, dude, I don't know! They just... I can't! Tweak hadn't even wanted Craig to stay over that night at his house in the first place. He rarely had anyone over because his parents were such head cases. It was embarrassing. And if they were going to have a sleepover, they always chose tokens. Because he had the biggest TV. Or Clyde's. Because his dad was the most permissive. But Craig's mom was on a brownie camping trip with his sister overnight and his dad was working late, and they'd asked the Tweaks directly. Tweak had been an anxious mess about it all week, because he'd been so sure that Craig wouldn't see the gnomes either. And for some reason, that seemed more unbearable than anyone else not believing Tweak like usual. Craig gets up suddenly. Tweak doesn't know what he's expecting, but it's not for Craig to stomp over and punt the nearest gnome like a football. The gnome bounces off the wall and lands in a heap on the floor, stunned. Hey, get out of here! He shouts at them. And for a moment, everyone stares at everyone else. Tweak at Craig, and Craig at the gnomes, and the gnomes at Craig. Then Craig starts forward like he's going to do the same to the rest of them. And they scatter, yelling in high-pitched confusion the whole way out the door. Craig hollers, And stay out! Then slams the door behind them. Tweak is speechless, frozen in place as Craig stomps back over and crawls into bed. Shit! Do you think your parents heard that? Craig asks, apparently mistaking Tweak's shock for concern. Tweak's voice is stuck in his throat, and Craig pokes Tweak in the cheek. Babe, what's wrong? That was amazing! Tweak finally blurts, snapping out of it. You were like a superhero! Like, Super Craig! That's gay, man, Craig mutters. This boyfriend thing is only a couple of weeks old, and they're still working out what's nice gay and what's gay gay. Tweak doesn't seem to mind this one, and Craig's face says he doesn't hate it either. Save me, Super Craig! (laughs) Tweak simpers, like he's Lois Lane or some shit. My hero! (laughs) Stop. Craig gives Tweak's shoulder a rough shove, but he's grinning just a little. If I'm Super Craig, then you're Wonder Tweak. Tweak snorts. <laughs> Wonder Tweak, why? Because Wonder Woman dates Superman, duh. Craig answers. He's scrunching down against the pillows, getting comfortable. And even though he doesn't feel sleepy at all, Tweak mirrors him so that they're face to face, talking across his pillow. I think he dates Batman. Tweak points out. He bites down on his lower lip to hold a laugh when Craig scrunches up his nose. (laughs) Maybe it's both. Dude, Craig protests. He probably has enough energy for Dude, Craig interrupts louder. He rolls his eyes when Tweak snickers. Keep your fucked up Tumblr headcanons to yourself. Superman's a one-woman guy. 
Craig's so weirdly venomous about this that Tweet can't help but asking, What about Super Craig? I definitely don't have enough energy for two of you. Craig says, voice flat, especially not if it includes 3am gnome kicking Olympics. <sighs> he yawns hugely. This happens every night? How are you not exhausted? Tweak shrugs. He's used to it. Or it's the coffee. Or he's too much of a mess to know the difference. Craig drops off to sleep as soon as they stop talking for a couple of minutes. Tweak's a little jealous of how easy it happens. But on the other hand, it's cool he's the only one awake to see Craig like this. Relaxed and peaceful. Tweak reaches out to touch Craig's hair, hand already on it before he realizes what he's doing and freezes. Craig's a sound sleeper, though, and he doesn't even wake when Tweak winds his fingers in the soft strands. Good night, Super Craig. He whispers, Wonder Tweak doesn't mind taking the night watch. A few weeks later, when Stan's group of assholes has everyone playing superheroes, Craig pronounces the entire thing gay. The gay kind of gay, he clarifies, looking over at Tweak. They're waiting for the bus in the thin morning light. They are so cold, Tweak's eyes are starting to water. His hand is warm where it's clasped in Craig's, though. Superman and Batman level gay, Tweak agrees. He bites his chapped lip to keep from laughing when Craig gives him a dirty look. But if you had to play, what powers would Super Craig have? Super ass kicking, obviously. The bus appears at the end of the block, breaks squealing. Tweak takes a half step back and behind Craig's shoulder in case of a catastrophic brake failure. Craig glances back just enough to catch Tweak's eye and strikes half a superhero pose, feet planted in a wide stance and free hand on his hip, like he'd have no problem taking all the momentum of the runaway bus square in the chest. No one can withstand the way of the fist! Tweak snickers, nose wrinkling. He can just see the bare scent of a smirk at the corner of Craig's mouth as Craig turns back towards the approaching bus. They have to let go of each other's hand to board the bus, shuffling down the narrow aisle to an empty seat. Walking even those few steps in layers of sweatshirts and coats, plus Craig's wool hat, means when Tweet grabs for Craig's hand, he shocks both of them hard enough to make Craig grunt. <coughs> Guess we know what Wonder Tweak's powers are. Damn! Craig says, shaking out his hand before threading their fingers together. Is it just shocking the shit out of me, or can you do that to anybody? Tweak looks down his hands, considering. I think it's weather! Grr, yeah! Lightning and icicles! Those can kill you if they ach, break off the roof! Tweak pauses, thinking. And rain! Why rain? Craig asks. His voice is bored, but he waits patiently while Tweak hums to himself, thinking. Mmm, healing! Tweak decides. If you're ach, gonna run in punching, then you'll get hurt! Rain to wash off the blood and dirt and grr, whatever! He chews on a ragged thumbnail of his free hand, sneaking a look at Craig's face. Mm-hmm. Sure, honey. Craig shrugs. Tweak relaxes at Craig's agreement. Carmen's dumbass games were always way more tolerable when the two of them are a team.